Alright, well, here's my stats right before the uh, the final hour. Um, I went and uh, I I've got so much to talk about with this, it's ridiculous. Alright, um, so day one, I went and did crafting. You can see right over here that I'm uh, rank 4 at this time. I was actually rank 1 at the very beginning. Um, and I was expecting and hoping to get 99 crafting, and this would give me access to the Craft Guild Bank. Uh, I used a mercher, or, and the hope was that this mercher would then be able to acquire all the leathers, and I would just have to go to the bank, and I would just have hundreds of leathers waiting for me, and... Uh, it didn't quite work that way. He wasn't able to get runners working. I had to do a lot of stuff myself. I was doing a lot of uh, a lot of walking on the uh, the Entrana, and then I find out that a lot of people were using gem shops and gem stalls to get rapid XP due to the fast respawns Jagex did. So they ended up getting a lead. By the time I kind of caught up and, and caught on to that and started doing that too, uh, I mean, they had a slight lead, but, I mean, I think I was like second or third to 84 um, crafting, which is the big thing people go for money making, and then uh, I didn't end up making any money because my merchant ended up uh, screwing me over, so. Uh, then, <laughs> uh, so I had budgeted one day for that, and then I budgeted four days for training combat. And so I moved on from that to doing um, my range tank goal. And this was, uh, I had all this planned out. Um, so I was doing this beneath the Daughters Trying Agility course. Um, so I did Death to Daughters Trying Quest. And nobody was down there. Like, literally nobody was there the entire week. Um, so, like, everyone's busy risking and getting killed. And. I'm here just, oh, I control the entire city and the entire dungeon south of it because nobody wants to go down there. There were people camping the uh, the mine to the north where people buy the uh, the bone uh, bolts, but other than that, nobody would actually go south into the city, so that was kind of funny. And I got teleports into uh, Dorgish Khan, so I was able to just kind of go down there and uh, train that. Um, so I was just able to kind of train that without uh, anyone bothering me and without having to go through the people camp in the mine, um, and then, um, oh yeah, so during this whole week I was part of, uh, the clan Divine Legion, and so DL, and, uh, I'd met them during the season, um, and I was originally going to be solo, and then I decided to just join them, um, yeah, so, um, I was in DL, and DL, um, and I think this is just kind of true, not just DL, I'm not going to run on DL, just, this is true for the entire PKN community. The amount of botting and, and splashing and, and all of these other activities within the PKN community is ridiculous. The amount of toxic behavior and attitude among the community is ridiculous. I, I, I hate it, I dislike it. Uh, and I definitely saw that first and uh, kind of in this... Uh, in my time in this land, and it's not like the first time I saw. It. I mean, I, I remember when I was a new back in the old old days, and I kind of hung around little small PK clans and stuff. I mean, it was exact same attitude. So, um, so but it's definitely interesting to see kind of the uh, the differences between the skilling world and the PK world, and, and the PK world they just view things very differently, and it's very negative. But um, I mean, it's just yeah, like the rank one thieving guy uh, who was in the clan I was in DL here. Um, Rank went even was basically auto clicking, and he had other alts that he was auto clicking on, and they just talked freely about that and whatever. I mean, in my clan, obviously that would that would be an instant from tomorrow. That would have been an instant ban from my clan, but not even that. I mean, just I kicked people out for for much much. Uh, I I want to say smaller things, I guess, uh, like using alts and uh, whatnot. But um, it's it's just it's just ridiculous uh, that it's just. Uh, all acceptable. Um, and I was kind of attracted to DL because they had, uh, they always have like kind of the the top overall ranks from the clan, uh, and within Dead Man. So I figured, oh, okay, so here's some skillers. Um, but yeah, just a lot of them. They just, they 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 don't they don't take it seriously. Um, and uh, anyways, um, so I ended up training uh, Dorgashan, and I'm underneath this, and I mean over here I'm getting 99 range, and I'm running out of bolts, and, uh, it was, just, yeah, I, I know, I was just running, <laughs> supplies were a mess at the, in the final 
day. It was just crazy getting stuff. Um, and I ended up getting 99 range and then got my range cape and then I went to get defense and uh, get the, the cape trimmed and then by that point I'd already lost all my broad bolts. Uh, they were gone so I ended up having to uh, use the bone bolts at the end which it was actually not that bad XP. I also had uh, uh, I yeah, um, but the way I train range with the long range is uh, much slower, so it's like about 30 mil XP worth if I had just done it pure range um, with rapid than the way I did it. And then on top of that, I ended up spending like over 10 mil um, on a bunch of energy potions. Not energy potions, I'm so sorry, I'm not thinking of Julian now. <laughs> I ended up uh, paying, uh, I did like over a hundred range in potions and uh, over 300 prayer potions uh, just so I can kind of maximize my XP gains with that and uh, obviously chains would have been nice but there didn't seem like there were many chains of the game um, and yeah, I don't know um, just, it was a long week I, I slept 13 hours the entire week from Monday to Saturday. Just, uh, it was like four hours sleep. Actually, I started the whole thing not even having a, a, a decent rest. Uh, just, but uh, the first day was four hours sleep, second day was four hours sleep, third day uh, it was three hours sleep, and then two hours two, two hours sleep at the end, like right before the final hour. Because um, I'd already been up over 20 hours, barely a night sleep on basically all those days. So. Um, no, when you're doing agility, I mean, I can do better records than that, but when you're doing agility, uh, it's okay to be brain dead. When you're doing a final hour, you usually don't want to be brain dead. Um, and then anyways, we move on here to the final hour. We end up sitting in the freaking bank trying to get ready. We're on TeamSpeak and Discord and, and organizing and everybody getting this stuff. And it took forever. I mean, it took like two hours. I, or three hours, like we we all got together like three hours ahead of time, and it was DL and Lit and and the CV, CD, and all, all of us were doing science, and uh, it was just cha it was just chaotic or, or or whatever, just trying to get it. I mean, it was organized, but it was also like just very long and time consuming, and then it ended up being all for nothing. Um, so I, I wasn't able to really change jelly during all this because I was trying to maximize my XP games with the range because I knew I was kind of really, really close on the final hour here with uh, getting the uh, my ranged uh, max with the defense uh, range because that, that was coming up very close with uh, the time limit there and then I only had like an hour or something to uh, mess around with magic and get that up to 67 by the time I finished. But, uh, no, we ended up... Uh, <coughs> oh... We all ended up being, we had uh, <coughs> probably uh, 200 people. I mean, that's probably a group. I don't know. The chat was full. Uh, was the chat 100 people? I don't remember. 100, 200 people. But, uh, the clan chat was full, basically. And then there were still people who couldn't fit into that. So we had this whole bunch of people, um, probably 100 people. And uh, we ended up going to, we got we won the safe spot, the ideal safe spot. Uh not safe spot. It was like that single zone right next to the multi by the lake. Um, and then Jagex went and I guess made that a fogged area, um, which is very interesting. So we all got hit, but we ran out of that. And then we moved up to a, a backup location to the north, which is kind of similar. And uh, it was very interesting. I mean, watching the experience like with the scouts. There's all these scouts around, and they're kind of uh, guarding the main group and. Uh, th I thought that was kind of interesting, but they were very, very careful about trying to keep the uh, these mage um, people alive, and and they always they 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 seem to view, view these these are the most valuable pe people. These people with the barrage, these people are going to win. These people are going to be the ones doing the most damage. These are the most valuable, and that everybody's going to be targeting the people with the ancients, everyone with the ninety four magic, and um, when you my whole approach was very different with this uh, before I even started. Because I was thinking range tank because one I suck at I don't PK I don't have any experience PKing and I did pure so I'm not I'm not doing any hybriding or anything like that um, and if I do melee then I just get frozen and then someone just kills me that way and if I do uh, uh, magic then I'm just not gonna have the 
endurance. I'm, I'm, I'm not tanking anything. I'm just wearing robes, and I want to get killed easily. Range tank lets you hit from afar. It doesn't matter if you get frozen. You just keep killing the mage, and um, you can heal. And so that's why I was doing the whole 99 defense, high hit points. I needed at least a 94. I got that. Um, and then uh, the range just kind of for attack power. I had Dragon Ball Z, so those were good. Um, and and I was prepped. And uh, when you actually get to the end of this, uh, you, you'll see that um, well, actually, you don't see it in this one, but if you actually watch the tournament video, um, all the people that l survived in the end were actually basically range tanks. Um, except one guy, one guy was a melee, but I mean, he was like almost ma max melee. But, um, yeah, everybody was range tanks. So you didn't see any of the ancients people. They, they were long dead. Um, I mean, what you need is uh, survivability. So, I mean, you have to have the armor, and, I mean, and you have to have the the inventory and you could have the defense. So I mean that's why I went I am rank one defense on that, so I thought that was nice. But um oh yeah and it was also rank one crafting at one point. Um so I don't know. Uh anyways game ended up uh getting really stupid and by the end of it here it, I'm just dead. Uh from lag. Um uh, they basically they were saying that we should uh all move in and we should have this wall of, of uh archers and this whole wall of archers or rangers are gonna um, protect all the majors in the back, and um, and then you had the scouts kind of in front of that, and then you had uh, these other clans coming in. And so when we all had to move in, they said, "Oh, look, here's a bunch of people coming up from Fallow or coming north through the gate. Let's chin them all." So I went and obeyed the commands. Uh, hey, hey, chin, 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 and. That got me killed. The people who act um, because I ended up being more in the middle, and then the more in, in the middle you are, the more surrounded you are by a bunch of people, the less you can actually do. So I wasn't able to eat. I'm spam clicking this thing. I, I didn't even know. Like my hit points was really weird. It was like full health, and then suddenly not full health. I was almost dead. I, I'm clicking food and, and and potions, and then magically I'm I'm full health again, and then I'm low health again. Like ten seconds later, it's ridiculous. Like what's happening here, and then. Bang, I'm dead, and I like don't know what happened. Um, so, what I should have done is gone into a little corner and done nothing. Maybe even spam, spam, eat my bruise and whatever. Just but do nothing, and don't don't attack, don't whatever. Just don't be a target. Don't do anything. Let everybody else kill each other. You get to 200, then you get teleported to the island. Then you can fight. Because people who got teleported to the island, um, you're not surrounded by as many people. You, it's not lagging the servers, you're actually able to do something. I wasn't able to do anything. And so I'm, I mean, I sit around here for, for like three hours waiting for this whole fight to begin. Um, what you see right here is like the last hour where we actually walk out and do stuff and then we just camp the spot, um, which wasn't a bad spot, but it was just, uh, uh, I think them playing aggressive was kind of a problem. Um, I ended up being stupid and listening to what they uh, said we should do and uh, got me killed, so, uh, I, basically, I, I don't, I wasted so much time on this, I didn't gain any agility, so, uh, I need to just, I'm not gonna do the next season, I'll think, uh, I mean, I was originally gonna do just agility, I'm like, cause I put too much time in this, and, yeah, I was just, I don't know, but I'm done. Like I was gonna do Brimhaven, supply of the clan with that, but I think I might even just leave the clan. I mean, this is ridiculous. I don't like the type of people in the PK world. Uh, they just there's a lot of cheaters, and they don't respect skill. And it's just they're very. It's a very toxic community. Um, it's with very bad attitude, and so I don't know. I'm done. Um, that here's my experimenting with uh, Dead Man, but it was nice to at least get this far um, in terms of the training. It's the training was fun, um, even if the end result was not, so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, so, yeah.